Swolders, mount up. We're gonna give you six exercises so that you can build those bolder shoulders and we're gonna start right now. But how do we even get bolder shoulders? Warming up the shoulder joint is like building up towards that massive volcanic eruption that's gonna give you those bolder shoulders. So we need to warm up with good exercise. And the first one is just gonna be a banded external rotation with a press, okay? And I wanna squeeze that upper back, squeeze those rhomboids together, those scaps together, rotate, press, okay? This is really, really good to wake everything up, that thoracic spine and the rhomboids, the traps, the external rotators, and then getting into even a simple band pull apart, okay? So we go here, band pull apart, squeeze, Sometimes if my elbows are a little tight, I'll even go like this just to get those elbows juiced up a little bit. And I'm using our strength power elastic band available at garagestrength.com. And you can even then make this a little bit lighter and go with those palms up to even warm this aspect out. So go through this two to three times, I'd say 17 reps each, and you're gonna feel nice and limber in that shoulder joint. So you can start pushing some big weight and getting a nice pump. Before we keep building your bolder shoulders, if you guys want this sweet swole shirt, you can enter our giveaway by commenting down below and making sure that all of your channel notifications are active. And then you can join our YouTube Live to find out if you won this sweet swole t-shirt. So in your program, use these exercises on that upper body power day or on your hypertrophy day. But just knowing that you have to train the shoulders isn't exactly enough. We've gotta have specific exercise selection that is actually strategic to ensure that you're getting that massive shoulder attack. Okay, so when we're talking about the shoulders, let's just break down the anatomy as quickly as possible. So we're gonna look at the deltoids, right? So the deltoids are really where we're gonna see a lot of hypertrophy. Okay, so we're gonna see that anterior delt here. And this is typically what's gonna grow quite a bit when we're pressing the medial delt, the rear delt here, posterior delt here. These are all gonna play a major role when we're trying to increase our size and they will benefit tremendously, like I said, from pressing. And there's gonna be some pulling movements that will also help increase their overall size. The other areas of the shoulders that I think we need to look at are gonna be what's gonna build up our yoke, okay? So our traps up top here, we wanna see that get nice and swole as big as possible to fill out that shirt. And then finally, I even like to think about that upper back. So around the scap region, looking at the rhomboids, looking at what we're even gonna be doing as far as our external rotation is concerned in that shoulder joint. So that's really what we're looking at to build and to stimulate growth in the shoulders. Deadlifts are great for building the shoulders and that massive yoke. But we can do better. But I don't think that's what you want. Do this instead to get that sweet tephra potentiation. So do the horsed snatch pull to improve your overall explosiveness and to potentiate that strength in that upper back in your traps and even in your deltoids. And I'm gonna show you how to do this real quickly. What we wanna focus on is big hip drive and then connecting that hip drive into the traps to rapidly contract. And then you're gonna have a little bit of a controlled eccentric. You're gonna reload and hit it again. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Once I get that strap, that garage strength, available at garagestrength.com, strap onto the bar. So I'm here, okay? Come up, boom, 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 boom. And if we're thinking about it, when we get to the top, this is even gonna help that medial delt. Okay, so I like to do this on that power upper body day, you can do this in the spot of 1A as a technical coordination lift. And what we wanna do this for would be like five sets of four, five sets of five. And over time, as we get closer to a peak, we might go a little bit less with the overall rep scheme where we're going like six doubles, something along those lines. Now, again, deadlifts are absolutely phenomenal for building traps, for building your back strength. But I prefer to do the horse snatch pulls on that upper body power day because it really leads to a explosive development in our traps. And it's something that we can start to build up and overload. And what ends up happening is that if we can overload this to, let's say 120, 140 kilos, it's gonna help our finish on the snatch. It's gonna help our finish on the clean. It's gonna help us develop that foundation of trap strength that will even carry over to a big bench press. 
And for your rest period, you could just follow what's prescribed inside of peak strength, or you can rest for about a minute and a half to two minutes. So to build those bolder shoulders, we actually have to get strong. And what that means is we're gonna have to focus on some compound movements. It'll lead to an increase in your overall volume because you're gonna have more weight on the bar. If we were using things like a superset, okay, we're gonna do a push and a pull. Okay, if we're gonna use something like a contrast method, we might do a more explosive shoulder exercise along with a little bit slower shoulder exercise. And this is gonna help us handle that fatigue and also lead to better mind-muscle connection. Now, inside of our app, Peak Strength, we tend to use a lot of different supersets. That leads to priming the shoulders, waking them up, and improving their overall strength and performance, which you'll find out in our next exercise. So this is gonna take us to our next exercise, which is gonna be one of my all-time favorite shoulder builders. And that's going to be, if I can get my hat under here, the pin press. Now, I like to have the pin press set so that the bar is right around my chin. Okay, so I'm gonna have a seat established here. And the big focus here is that typically we'll do this on an upper body power day. Now, if you don't have access to pins like this or an old school squat rack, you could do this with a pause dumbbell military press. And I would recommend pausing for about a second or two seconds down at the bottom. I wanna get set and I wanna grab my shoulders down at the bottom and I wanna actually think about what I'm doing right here. So I'm not even moving my elbows, I'm moving my scaps. Okay, so I'm gonna get set here and I wanna keep the elbows under the bar. I wanna get set, boom, up. And then come down with that nice controlled position. Sit here. Drive back up, come back down, drive back up, come back down, squeeze, drive up. Now, if we control that through the full eccentric, that's gonna overload our triceps, which is also gonna help us improve our shoulder strength. So that's stuff that we have to factor in. Now, regarding rest times, if I'm on an upper body power day, typically I'm gonna use pin press with a little bit heavier load and that rest period might be two to two and a half minutes potentially because I'm trying to really press as much weight as possible. If I'm on that hypertrophy day, I might use pin press or those pause dumbbell military presses and only have about a minute or a minute and a half. Unfortunately, inside of our app Peak Strength, we have a specific rest timer built in based off the day and based off the exercise to optimize your overall rest period. Now, I'm a little bit behind on the superset that I wanna show you that next exercise that's gonna blow up your upper back. So when I'm pairing exercises, I wanna think about, I did those pin presses, okay? I'm pushing those pretty heavy. What's a movement that will pair with them and sort of just provide an extra foundation without leading to a ton of fatigue? And this is where my next movement's gonna come in. It's gonna be a banded, Elbow, scap, or retraction, okay? So we're gonna get set here, all right? And all I wanna do is get set, get those elbows out, come to my chest, and squeeze that upper back. And if you remember when I was demonstrating on those pin presses, that scap retraction was where we actually started and to ignite that big pattern with the pin press. So if we do like sets of 12 to 17 reps here, and we rest about a minute, okay, that's gonna help us get into that next set of pin presses. Again, this is something that you can do on that hypertrophy day, or even on that upper body power day. And even as I'm just standing here talking to you, I can feel my upper back just lighting up. And one other cool thing is that you can even start to play around with that elbow position, depending upon where you feel you're a little bit weak. And this is a way to increase that mind-muscle connection, which in turn, ideally, will lead to better performance on the pin press. So head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, and pick up Peak Strength today. You're gonna get those sweet supersets, a pin press, maybe with this banded elbow retraction. And that's gonna lead to optimizing your overall performance. When you download Peak Strength, you're gonna get seven free days of training. The worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get five free workouts. But how do I get big shoulders without just getting strong? That's right, baby. It's time to get swole. Now, swolgers, we've got to think about how can we improve our dynamic trunk control? Okay, if we can train our dynamic trunk control, we'll increase our overall stability. And that's also going to help us protect our shoulder health, especially when we're doing crazy presses. The next movement that we're going to get into is going to stimulate that dynamic trunk control. It's going to stimulate your neural coordination. And in turn, you won't have to use a ton of weight 
while still leading to a point of recruiting a lot of high threshold motor units. Now we've seen the Z-Press in other videos that we've put out where we'll use a little bit more weight. Maybe we do it with a barbell and we can increase that overall load, similar to what we did with the pin press. But we can also make it really unique where we're using a little bit lower load and just going with really, really high reps. And that's where this sweet exercise comes into play. So we're gonna put a plate on our shins. We're gonna sit at the end of a bench where the crook of your knee is gonna be at the end of the bench. And so we're gonna flex here, okay? Like a little leg extension and keep that upright posture, okay? So we wanna squeeze here, hold this upright. Now, here's the cool part. You do a little bit of a hammer curl, get into this position and just rep out, let's say 17 to 20 reps. And what ends up happening is you feel a bit more fatigue in that upper back as you get through that set and you'll even start to see your legs drop here okay we want to keep that nice and tense and if we can squeeze we almost turn this into a full body workout that's what makes this so unique is that there's a lot of different neural aspects that come into play you're training the trunk you're training the hips you're training the quads and you're lighting up that upper back a lot of people that have a tight upper back they'll tend to lean backwards. So as a coach, we wanna make sure that we stay as upright as possible and get that chest through. I'd recommend doing four, five sets of 17 at the end of a hypertrophy workout to really blow up those shoulders and stimulate the abs. Okay, so the next movement is an exercise that I swear will blow up your upper back, your shoulders, and even a little bit of your biceps more than anything else. Okay, this is an exercise that we used to call trap raises. Now, as I've gone through the ranks and I've learned that these are actually termed a different name, we're gonna give you that specific name. So I wanna see when we're training the upper traps, okay? We can do very, very high reps, like four sets of 20 to 30 reps, okay? And it's going to lead to massive blood going into your shoulders and getting that big time yoke. Remember when we talked about the anatomy, the traps and medial delts are areas that we wanna be targeting. I'll even throw in there that a lot of people sort of avoid posterior delts just by chance. You know, we noticed we had a lot of presses in here. So one thing that we can do here is try and change that torso angle to try and target those posterior delts as well as we fatigue. So what we're gonna do is a drag curl. We're gonna get set here, okay? Let's say I wanna do 20 to 30 reps. Okay, I'm here. And then as I start to fatigue, I might come forward a little bit and we might get a little bit of those lats, but we're also gonna to start to get those rear delts. So use this in conjunction with those Z presses, four sets of 17 Z press, four sets of 30 drag curls. Remember, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, download Peak Strength today for those five free workouts. Because remember, soldiers, at some point, you guys have to be in that journey to attain peak strength. And remember, freaks, if you guys wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.